Nos wetha gyfeillion a chroeso i ceremoni gyfrwyno Gwobre Cystaleaeth Sgiliau Cymru. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the first of two Skills Competition Wales Celebration Events 2021, where we will recognise and celebrate the commitment, hard work and achievements of learners, providers and employers who are setting the gold standard in education and training. We're proud to be hosting the event this evening bilingually. You can access the Welsh translation by going to the interpretation icon in the bottom tool, the one that looks like a globe, and clicking on it. You will then be able to choose your preferred language. We'll also use the Welsh language here and there throughout the evening, making sure that everyone knows exactly what's going on over the next 90 minutes. Rwanda yn gobeithio eich bod chi wedi cael cyfle i weld a chyfarfod rhai o'r 2,94 o gystadlewyr o bob cwr o Gymru. Rhai nhw'n nhw'n ennill gwybr aer, arian neu efydd yng nghystadleaeth Sgiliau Cymru. Representing a wide variety of sectors, each and every one of our competitors demonstrates the positive impact that education and training programmes have on businesses, learners and the economy in Wales. Heno Vilgluchi, I'm Ruyvian, I've been a nice brother today, Dig. Yawn, I've been in Kidnabo, the Bobo seen help me great greatly, or Savon Ichav and Emery. But before we get started handing out the awards, we are going to take some time to reflect on the last year. Here to give us some personal welcome at a viewpoint is Paul Evans, Skills Ambassador for Wales and Project Director for Inspiring Skills Excellence in Wales. Thank you for joining us for Skills Competition Wales, uh, the celebration event we're hosting tonight. Uh, firstly, I'd like to thank all the competitors and congratulate all the competitors. You're the all winners. You've all been chosen to compete and represent your college, represent your university, or represent your, uh, your training provider. Absolutely massive thank you to you all for taking part and taking the time, and best of luck for tonight's awards. The last 14 months has been nothing but normal. And I think you all agree that it's been a fantastic achievement to deliver the competitions in these climates. So a big thank you must go to all the, educa to the education sector across Wales for thinking outside the box, enabling us to deliver, and more importantly, taking the time to enter your learners. This year, we had over 1,200 entries in Skills Competition Wales. This was achieved during a period of lockdown. And we managed, we planned to deliver 56 competitions and the resilience of staff members and also the competitors was tested to the highest level. And I'm extremely proud, very, very proud to say that our competitive retention this year has exceeded what we've had in past years. And in some skill areas, we managed to achieve 100% retention, which is absolutely phenomenal. So a massive thank you to all that have been involved in delivering this year's cycle and enable it to be such a success. Po bloki bobin. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Go Team Wales. Skills Competition Wales is funded by the Welsh Government through the Inspiring Skills Excellence in Wales project and supported by a dedicated network of colleagues, work-based learning providers and employer-led organisations. Thanks to you all. But why competitions? Well, they raise the profile of skills in Wales and offer students, trainees and apprentices a chance to challenge, benchmark and raise their skills by taking part in a series of local vocational skills competitions across a range of sectors. Over the past year, COVID-19 has affected us all, with many significant changes to our lifestyles and the way we operate, this evening's virtual event being a prime example. Despite these challenges, with the support of our partners across Wales, 53 competitions were delivered, which is a fantastic achievement. In 2021, we had over 1,200 entries in Skills Competition Wales across the 53 competitions held in a variety of sectors. We'd like to thank all of you on screen this evening. Without your support, we wouldn't be able to celebrate the awards like this. We'd usually be inviting you to enjoy your meal, but just because this year we're virtual, it doesn't mean the fun has to stop. We want to see your awards set up this evening, whether you're in front of your dress room as your best or sat around the kitchen table with your family, we want to see how you're celebrating. Take a photo and tag us using hashtag SEW2021 on Instagram and Twitter. Don't forget to follow us on ISE in Wales and we'll be sharing some of our best bits throughout the night. Oh yeah.
Gwael Mari, Bantan Ida, and Gantav Mar Category Technolic with Bodeth, a mentor Garoch, or they with Ari in status Facebook, Uchloito Senia, and a Kumol, Ne Damon the Ogel Arlane. My brown popeth are now in Kernois, Squithgar, Technolic with Bodeth, Achavathrebi Professional, and Guitho on a Camdip. Among Amri, Magandoni, Sailwife Technolic with Bodeth, Achavathrebi, Hebe Isles in Kavrogi, Dros Pedrick Pimp Milo Bobble, and a sector Akan Kavrani. Dros oith billion of roi the economy Cymru. Yn y sector hwn, fe wnaeth o ni gyfrwyno oith cystaleaeth y lenni gyda dros 1.90 yn cyfrestru. Nawr, mae'n bryd cynnabod y dalent honno. O, oh, ynddi. The first award is IT Support Technician. Let's look at the nominations. IT Support Technicians are crucial to the day-to-day -day functioning of businesses in today's world. Competitors were tasked with resolving technical problems and maintaining a company's network, software and computer equipment. So, to kick it off, <gasps> the Bronze Award goes to... Drum roll, please. No drum roll? No. Dallan Williams of Colin Cumbria. Silver is awarded to... Henry Colborn, Gower, Gower College, Swansea. And the Gold Award winner this evening is Ethan Lucas Morgan, Gower College, Swansea. Well done, Mush. Song of well done, all involved. <laughs> now, for category two, for IT and enterprise, coding skills. Here are the nominees. Coding is a specialist skill where programmers take instructions and translate them into binary, which enables humans to communicate directly with computers. In this competition, a series of tasks were given to test competitor skills, software development, and coding. Here are the nominees. The Bronze Award winner is... Dolan Rees, Bridge End College. The Silver Award goes to Mindijas Towinjenskas, Cardiff and Vale College. And the Gold Award for Coding Skills has been won by... Etho Burroughs and David's College, Llong Gyfarchiata Mawriawn, well done on your achievement. Ar wan ymlaen o ni i gategori 3, Technoleg Gwybodaeth a Mentor Garwch, Diogelwch Rhwydwaith. Fe mynd i edrych ar yr enwebiadau. Mae Diogelwch Rhwydwaith yn cyfeirio at nifer o dechnolegau, dyfeisiau a phrosesau gwahanol. Mae'n gyfres o reolau a ffurfweddiadau sy'n diogelu i niondeb, cyfrinachedd a hygyrchedd rhwydweithiau cyfrifeddirol a data gan ddefnyddio technolegau, meddalwedd a chaledwedd. Hw, oedd hwn hefo'n ceg. Y dasg i'r cystadlewyr o ddateb gofynion cwsmeriau drwy ddefnyddio pwyntiau mynediad diwifr, dyfeisiau rhwydwaith, gweinydd a chleiant Microsoft. O, da iawn ti fyna. Diolch. Bronz has been won by Sam Howard, NPTC Group. Silver is awarded to Dominic Harford, Colleg Cambria. And the Gold Award winner for Network Security this evening is Iwan Oliver, Colleg Cambria. Congratulations to everyone. <coughs> now, for category four, for IT and enterprise, IT software solutions for business. Let's look at the nominations. IT software solutions staff work in the IT department of an organisation, providing support as application specialists. In this competition, a series of tasks was set to test competitors' knowledge in all aspects of Microsoft Office software. The Bronze Award goes to... Taylor Hodges, University of Wales, Trinity St David's. Silver is awarded to... Joshua Longhurst, Gower College, Swansea. And the Gold Award winner is... Agnieszka Novak, Gower College, Swansea. Song of Achiade. Congratulations to all of our winners so far. <laughs> Don't forget to show us how you're celebrating tonight via Instagram and Twitter using the hashtag SEW2021 and following us at ISE in Wales. Do it. Category Pimp Technoleg Wybodaeth a Mentor Garwch ydy Seiber Ddiogelwch. Be mynd i edrych ar yr enwebiadau. Mae'r ffrwydrad o Seiber Ddiogelwch a'r heria sy'n mynebu'r llywodraeth a'r diwydiant yn golygu bod yna angen enfawr am weithwyr technoleg wybodaeth proffesiynol sy'n sgilgar yn y sector yma. 
Cafodd y cystadleuydd gyfres o dasgau ymarferol i arddangos i gallu a'i sgiliau mewn seibr ddiogelwch, gan gynnwys nodi risgiau ddiogelwch a mynediad diawdurdod ar rwydwaith. The Bronze Award goes to... Conor O'Keefe, Tolly Cambria. Silver is awarded to... Luke Gregory, Cardiff and Vale College. And the Gold Award winner this evening is Conrad Gutmanski, St David's College. Congratulations to you all. Now, for Category 6 for IT and Enterprise. Inclusive Skills, ICT. Let's look at the nominations. ICT, technicians <laughs> provide assistance to various members of the IT department, carrying out tasks such as copy typing, formatting text and data. Competitors were assessed on their ability to work with text and data in Microsoft applications such as Word and Excel. Wow, making it street. I like it. Now, the Bronze Award goes to... James Decay, NPTC Group and William Perry, Cardiff and Vale College. Silver is awarded to Adam Webb, ACT Training. And the Gold Award winner this evening is Matthew Hayes and Benjamin White from Coleg Cambria. Well done, everyone. Mentor Garoch, the category Scythe Sector Technology, Gwibodaith a Mentor Garoch. Beam Gamid Golog, Arerenu Biata. Cystadliad team ydy Mentor Garoch sydd wedi chynllunio i herio sgiliau entrepreneuriaeth yr holl gyfranogwyr. Y dasg i gystadlewyr oedd i ddatblygu ar rhoi amrywiaeth o sgiliau ar waith, gan gynnwys creadigrwydd ac arloesedd, sgiliau datrys problemau, cyfathrebu a chyflwyno. The Bronze Award goes to... Garin Baker, Charlotte Drinkwater, Sophia Favell, Thomas Jones, or from Merthyr College. Merthyr, <laughs> up Merthyr. Silver is awarded to... Hav Edwards, Eva Edwards, Ellie Jones, Gabriella Ransom, Olivia Williams, and Neve Benyon, all from Colla Cambria. And the gold winner this evening is Luca Bissick, Kimberly Bowes, Ruby Nussenbuga, and Harry Smale, all from Cardiff and Vale College. Thank you very Congratulations to everyone involved. Our final category for IT and enterprise is category eight, accountancy. Let's look at the nominations. Accountants are whiz with numbers. They help businesses run their financial operations efficiently. Competitors were tasked on a series of bookkeeping transactions and bookkeeping controls. The Bronze Award goes to... Rachel Morris, Caitlin Thomas and Rebecca Smith from NPTC Group. Silver is awarded to Sophie Perry, Bethan Bell Langford and Tegan Edwards from Merthyr College. And the Gold Award winner this evening is... Terry Davis and Kelly Hammers from NPTC Group. Llong gyfarchata mawr iawn chi. A huge congratulations to you. Next, we focus on media and creative sector. The creative industries have been one of the fastest growing parts of the Welsh economy for a number of years. The breadth of vocations in the sector are widespread from technical roles in digital media, TV, theatre or film to the performing arts and more traditional crafts in this sector. We deliver nine competitions this year with over 160 registrations. It's now time to recognise that talent. Pobloc, Pau. Our category Cynta ydy cerddoriaeth boblogaidd. Be'n mynd i edrych ar yr enwebiadau. Mae yna amrywiaeth o gerddoriaeth yn llifo drwy'r gystadliaeth yma efo tîm o unigolion yn ffurfio band ac yn perfformio set fer sy'n dangos i donia creadigol. The Bronze Award goes to Corey Chidley, Ross Henley, Laura Huckbody, Morgan Williams from Colic Gwent and collectively known as Laura Jasmine. Silver is awarded to... Molly Evans, Izzy Nixon, Fionn Rees, Zach Worthington and Emily Zatak from the band Chromatics at Pembrokeshire College. And the Gold Award winner this evening is... Flynn Cox, Ethan Cronin, Ewan Cronin and Ethan Sweet from the band The Hostels from Colleague Camoy. Congratulations to everyone. 
Next, we have media and creative category two, media production. Let's look at the nominations. Digital media production staff are involved in every stage of a project, be it program, film, or video. This year, competitors were expected to direct, film, and edit a short moving image, be it fiction, factual, animation, motion graphic, music, or promotional video. The Bronze Award goes to Kirig Williams, Colleague Kamal. Silver is awarded to Ben Roberts, University of South Wales, and James Vorden, Colleg Quent. And the Gold Award winner this evening is Gareth Price, Colleg Sirgar. Song of the Maori, Gareth, a huge congratulations to you. Nessa ma category three a sector critical are covering a save photography at the manure and we better photography at the graft of Val del weather are film photographic Eleni covered custard lawyer a task of Luna pimp del weather and dealing a thema a normal now with the bronze award goes to Ramona White Gower College Fonzie silver is awarded to Pearl Madden Lewis, colleague Sirgar. And the Gold Award winner this evening is Kian Swainston, Cardiff and Vale College. Song of well done, everyone involved. We now look at media and creative category four inclusive skills, media. Let's look at the nominations. This competition is designed to focus on all the essential skills needed within the digital media industry. This year's competitors demonstrated a variety of creative, technical and vocational skills that are essential within the contemporary creative media industries throughout the submission of a short moving image production. The Bronze Award goes to Declan Morrissey, Pembrokeshire College. Silver is awarded to Dan Bennett, Tyler Ellis and Lewis Gasson from Colliga Camoy. And the Gold Award winner this evening is... Luke Ellis, Tyler Mitchell and Alfie Paul from Colleg y Cymoedd. Da iawn chi, a massive congratulations to you all. Category Pimp, a sector creadigol a'r cyfryngau sinesa, sef technoleg ffasiwn. Be am yn i edrych ar yr enwebiadau. Madalinwyr ffasiwn yn gweithio mewn nifer o ffyrdd o'r thylunio dillad ac ategolion fel brichledu a chadwyni gwddw. Lenni cafodd cystadlewyr y dasg o ddefnyddio dau grys gwyn wedi eu hadfer ac eitem o'i dewis i ddatblygu cynhyrchion ffasiwn newydd ac ar loesol gan ddefnyddio'r thema ail ddefnyddio, ail bwrpasu, ail gylchu ffasiwn gyrraliadwy. Ti on point felly fod y jacket wen, grys gwyn? Yeah. The Bronze Award goes to... Chloe Sheard, Regent College, and Kelsey Regola, Colleg Sir Gar. Silver is awarded to Henry Hop, Colleg Gwent. And the Gold Award winner this evening is Victoria Owen, Regent College. Song Gavachata Maur, a huge congratulations. Well done. Next, we have Media and Creative Category 6 Visual Merchandising. Let's look at the nominations. A visual merchandiser designs window displays for stores and develops floor pan plans and displays to highlight their features and benefits. In this competition, the focus was on creativity and understanding of visual merchandising skills, using knowledge of visual and trend research and taking into consideration the length of time for construction. The Bronze Award goes to Lauren Hitchinson, Colleg Sirgar. Silver is awarded to Thomas Williams Mason, Colleg Sirgar. And the Gold Award winner this evening is Madeleine Smith, Colleg Sirgar. All local, that's the college I went to as well. Big up. Songa Brachiade, congratulations to everyone. Category Scythe, a sector creadigol, are Kervrange, Urwober and Delinio Guevane. Adaman in Webiade. Ma angen sgiliau technegol a chiedigol iawn ar ddylunwyr gwefanau i ddefnyddio raglenni codio a meddalwydd arbenigol o ddylunio gwefanau. Asesod cystalewyr ar ei gallu i greu ddogfennau dylunio effeithiol a chywyr, gan ddefnyddio fframiau gwefren sy'n adlywyrchu'r cynnyrch terfynol. 
the bronze award goes to Cameron McDonald, NPTC Group. Silver is awarded to Ben Chappell, NPTC Group. And the gold award winner this evening is Bramwell Simpson, Pembrokeshire College. Song Gwarchetha, Maur Iawn. Congratulations. The penultimate category in this sector is category eight, 3D game art. Let's look at the nominations. The 3D digital game artist uses specialist software to draw and animate digital games. They require high level creative and technical skills to ensure they deliver a game that follows the designer's brief and that will be marketable. This competition saw individuals develop and demonstrate a variety of creative and technical skills that are essential within the contemporary gaming and creative industries. So, the bronze award for that one goes to Iwan Kinsman, Colleg Gwent. Silver is awarded to Natasha Kolkov, Colleg Gwent. And the gold award winner this evening is James Roberts, Cardiff and Vale College. That's a great achievement. My Gwobber Olav and a sector hun category now, a sector creadigal arcavrange. I'll give a delineo graphic. Beth Amini Edrichar and Webiade. My Gandal and Wir graphic skillia are benigal, either in your are three in Del Weather, are testing our jobs, a stod eang, or gi destiner, or brint, either in your digidol, ak u x. Ako bursteri, i graphic semidol, ak ani medio. Cavel custelewer, a dasco nade, gwaith, isle frandio, i gumnio dethol. Gar a custelea, and govern either no delineo, dined, a tegol, a con Instagram, a con Facebook, a Del with Cloud Facebook. The bronze award goes to Carly Spencer, Cardiff and Vale College. Silver is awarded to Rebecca Hodgson, Gower College, Swansea. And the gold award winner this evening is Catherine Zoe Price, Pembrokeshire College. Song Gavarcheta, Catherine, and a huge congratulations to you all. Well, that's us halfway through our awards tonight. So we thought we'd like to take a small breather and hear from a selection of students who are involved in Skills Competition Wales and let them tell you their stories. So my journey in Wales Skills has just been amazing. It propelled me by allowing me to learn skills that I wouldn't have learned, taught me things that helped me down my professional career. Although there was immense pressure, I think that there was definitely you know, a sense of achievement at the end of the day that was the the best part about it. It was really hard work um, it was quite nerve-wracking because I've never actually done a big competition before especially where people can be watching and walking around in the arena so I didn't really know what I was getting myself in for until I got there. That first day when I stepped onto the competition stage I then realised that this is what I wanted to do <laughs> and I wanted to show people that what was watching that they should go for it, those uh, young students. And I trained and trained to be the one that was selected for Kazam. And I was the one that was chosen. And it just goes to show that all your hard work and your effort that you put into it does pay off in the end. It has helped grow my confidence so much. I've met so many new friends along the way. When I first started competing, I never thought it would take me where it did. I ended up uh, leaving, competing, got a, straight into a job. Um, I did my degree alongside working. Um, and it's opened up a number of other doors with training opportunities and things like that for me. When I was in Russia, I did win a bronze medal for those of you who didn't know. Um, and I have actually got my medal here today to show you. Just to show you that this is what you could work towards and this is what you could get. Push, do the competitions and you will succeed. It'll propel you so far in your careers you can't even imagine. You'll end up at places you would have never, never thought possible. So my advice would be, if you want to have a go, I would say just to go for it and see where it takes you and just have fun with it. And uh, I'd 100% recommend uh, competing. For any of you out there who are coming and ahhing about the competition, whether to take on the next step or not, I would highly recommend it. 
even if you, like I say, don't go through to the next stage or um, you're really struggling in training because you think someone's better than you, that doesn't matter. You should enjoy um, what you're doing and be the best that you can, the best person that you can be and be proud of everything that you do. Wise words, thank you all. And without further ado, let's carry on with tonight's awards. Right, Amari. Barod? Barod. Let's go. We'll now look at health, hospitality and lifestyle. This sector is one of the biggest in Wales and covers a range of roles in different vocations, including hospitality, healthcare and fitness, along with hair and beauty throughout to early years. In this sector, we delivered 15 competitions this year with over 330 registrations. And this evening, we will recognise the talent in some of these competitions. In category Cynta Ydy Therapy Harddwch Dwylo Ac Wyneb. Bermany Weld, Pwy Sy Wedi Cael I Hynwepi. Mae pawb yn caru diwrnod pamprod ydy. Rhywbeth da ni gyd digolli yn ystod y cyfnod clo. Mae therapydd harddwch yn cynnal gwasanaethau harddwch a gofal croen gan gynnwys trinithau wyneb, colur, trinithau ewinedd, traed a trinithau amrannau ac eiliau. Oherwydd cyfyngiadau Covid eleni a seswyd cystadlewyr ar gyfres o dasgau gan gynnwys colur dydd a crem red polish ar ewinedd bysedd. Ti'n ffan? O, oh, ffan mawr. Ya, hmm. yeah. <laughs> dim fydd o. The Bronze Award goes to Amy Nurse and Ariana Tidbury from NPTC Group. Silver is awarded to Rosie Newton, NPTC Group. And the Gold Award winner this evening is Sasha Warner, Colleague Cumbria. Congratulations to everyone. On to health, hospitality and lifestyle. Category two. And this award is for beauty therapy, body. Let's look at the nominations. A beauty therapy practitioner carries out beauty and skincare services, including massage and body te uh, therapy treatment, as well as makeup, manicure and pedicure. Due to COVID restrictions this year, competitors were assessed on a series of tasks, including evening makeup and French polish to the fingernails. Ooh la la. Nice. The bronze award goes to... Lucy Lewis, NPTC Group. Silver is awarded to Paulina Siako, Cole Gwent. And the Gold Award winner this evening is Lucy Johnson, Cole Cambria. Thank you very much, Lucy. Well done to everyone. Right, Nessa, my category three, Yechid Letigaruch, a fourth of you, Trin Gwalt, Bermanetrich, and an Enwebiata. Mae trinwyr gwallt ymhlith y bobl bwysica yn ein bywydau, yn enwedig ar ôl pum mis o gyfyngiadau reit llym. Gest ti cyt ffres yn barod at uh, heddiw ddoed o? Ffres trim, edrych yn prim. <laughs> Neis. Yn y gystadleuth yma, asesuid cystadleuwyr ar ei creadigrwydd a'i technegau trin gwallt. The Bronze Award goes to Nadia Buzawi, Cardiff and Vale College, and Leah Browning. Call it Gwent. Silver is awarded to Samantha Derbyshire, colleague Cambria. And the Gold Award winner this evening is Elaine Green, Cardiff and Vale College. Congratulations, all. Category four in health, hospitality, and lifestyle is for inclusive skills, hairdressing. Let's look at the nominations. This is an entry-level competition for competitors who wish to progress within the vibrant industry. Competitors were assessed on techniques such as hairstyling and creativity. The Bronze Award goes to... Caitlin Thomas, Cardiff and Vale College. Silver is awarded to... Abby Simmons, Cardiff and Vale College. But the Gold Award winner this evening is... Macy Williams and Chardonnay Palmer from Cardiff and Vale College. Da iawn chi, llongyfrchada mawr. Well done. Da ni am edrych rwan ar gategori saith, iechyd llitigarwch a ffordd o fyw, hyfforddwyr. 
be mewn i edrych ar yr enwebiadau. Rhywbeth arall dan i gyd ddi golli o ganlyniad i'r cyfnod clo ydy'r gallu i fynd yn campfa leol a chael sesiwn ym arfer corff gan hyfforddwr personol. Pan fydd yn hamser ni'n brin neu pan fydd ni'n i'n chael i'n anodd hyfforddi ar ben yn hun, mae'r bobl yma yn yn helpu ni i gael y gora o'n sesiynau hyfforddi. A seswyd cystadleuwyr yn y gystadleuth yma ar ei sgiliau cyfathrebu, hyfforddi a chorfforol yn y gystalychynol proffesiynoldeb a gwreiddioldeb yn ei sesiynau. The Bronze Award goes to Amanda Hartshorn, Colin Gwent. Silver is awarded to Rhys Edmunds, Colin Gwent. And the Gold Award winner this evening is Diana Williams, Colin Gwent. Song of Archiade, well done to everyone. Our final award in the health, hospitality and lifestyle sector is Category 8, Inclusive Skills. Fitness trainer. Oh. <laughs> Let's look at the nominations. Gyms are very busy places, and personal trainers often need support in setting up sessions. Fitness trainers fill the role by welcoming clients, helping to demonstrate the warm ups and cool downs, and assisting with setting up and clearing away equipment. Competitors were assessed on a range of tasks that would be required of an assistant fitness instructor working in a health club, gym, or an outdoor space. The bronze award goes to. Alicia Creighton, Skilliai. And the silver awarded to Kyle Robertson, Pembrokeshire College. But wait for it, the gold, the double oh, whammy. Here we go. Award is going to Alicia Llewellyn, Skilliai. So good a massive congratulations to you all. Now on to our final sector tonight. Final? Final. That's what I said. Oh. <laughs> Engineering and technology is an exciting sector in Wales, employing over 150,000 people in a range of vocations. In this sector, we delivered 15 competitions this year with 300 registrations. And this evening, we will recognise the talent in some of these competitions. This evening, we will be recognising the talent across the two scientific competitions. Category Ian at the Gwyddoniaeth Forensic. Be'n mynd i edrych ar yr enwebiadau. Mae gwyddonwyr ffyrensig yn archwilio lleoliadau troseddol i gasglu, diogelu a dadansoddi tystiolaeth wyddonol yn ystod ymchwiliad. Yn y lleoliad troseddol rhithwyr, roedd yn rhaid i gystadleuwyr ystyried sut y gallu'r cynnal uniondeb a pharhad drwy gydol yr archwiliad o'r lleoliad a disgrifio sut y byddwn nhw'n defnyddio technegau archwilio priodol. The Bronze Award goes to... Cara Morgan, Gower College, Swansea. Silver is awarded to Keris Brooks, Gower College, Swansea. And the gold award winner this evening is. Ready? Yeah. Ellie Davis, Cardiff and Vale College. Song of Archiade, well done to everyone. And for our final award this evening, we reward engineering and technology category two. Lab technician. Let's take a look at the nominations. Laboratory technicians have specialist skills that allow them to work in a wide range of organizations, including chemical, biomedical, pharmaceutical, biotechnology, and other industries in educational institutions. In this competition, a simulation of laboratory work was undertaken assessing the skills, abilities of technicians entering the field of a laboratory technology and science. Wow. Whew. That Almost there. <laughs> you oh. did it. <laughs> the Bronze Award goes to... Evie Hutala, Colleg Cambria. The Silver is awarded to... Luke Ball, Gower College, Swansea. And the Gold Award winner this evening is... Joel Farrant, Gower College, Swansea. Nice, well done, Joel. Song of the Maori Enjoy celebrating. And a big congratulations to all oh. of our winners. I'm getting emotional. <laughs> to all of you this evening, well done, you.
There they were then on our screen. A very well done to all of you. And hopefully next time I'll see you in the flesh, not through a screen. Well done everyone involved tonight. And again, a huge congratulations to all the winners. If you haven't yet showed us how you've been celebrating tonight, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at ISE in Wales. And please use the hashtag SCW2021 so we can see you celebrating. Hashtag that now. Yeah. All of tonight's medalists will also be given the opportunity to have their podium moment over the next few weeks, because you know that Instagram photo is all important, right? <laughs> we'll share more information with all of our winners very soon. Now, before we finish tonight, we wanted to leave you with some more messages. So without further ado, I will introduce Mike James, World Skills UK Delegate for Wales. I'd just like to thank all the competition winners uh, for this year and how they've absolutely knocked it out of the park and also to thank uh, all the staff who've supported them and the way in which they've adapted the skills competitions in the 30 areas during the um, Covid uh, crisis. It's been absolutely amazing to see um, both the students and staff respond to what's been a difficult situation but actually they've really, as I've just spoken about moments ago, knocked it out of the park. Skills, or demonstrating the importance of skills, is absolutely vital as we move forward. We need to show the world that Wales has got an able, talented and entrepreneurial workforce. And the best way to do that is through skills competitions. Better skills creates better productivity. The better productivity we get in Wales, the bigger the economy. And we need a strong economy to invest in our public services. So world skills, UK skills, or more importantly, Welsh skills, is the centre point, centre place in creating a great and prosperous Wales. First of all, I'd like to say that the competition winners this evening are able to go on now to, um, to compete at a higher level through national and world skills. That's what we're after. We're after some of the competitors today to be able to go on and compete internationally, and that would be absolutely fantastic. The past competitions that Wales have been involved in have demonstrated that Wales always punches above its weight. We've had gold, silver and bronze medalists right across the piece demonstrating the, the importance of skills for Wales, supporting the wider UK team. Currently our skills competitors, supported by the staff, are training in the background, they're still training, they're still competing, preparing themselves for the forward-facing competitions. And as we get the other side of um, COVID, post-COVID, we're going to make sure that world skills, national skills and Wales skills that we're there right in the middle of it, making sure that all our students have accessibility and a positive experience in being able to compete. World skills is absolutely vital to make sure we demonstrate Wales is ready for inward investment, Wales is ready for the economic recovery. Congratulations to all the medal winners and nominees and thank you for all your hard work. Come on Wales. Many thanks to Mike, Jochen Varian. Very inspiring words there, Maria. Mm. So, are you up for the challenge? Here's a short clip of what could be next for you. If you haven't already registered for this next challenge, head over to worldskillsuk.org and register yourself. Don't forget, registration's closed tomorrow, so chop chop. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the first of our Skills Competition Wales Celebration Events 2021. A truly inspiring celebration of the individuals, training providers and employers who are helping to make Wales a high skills economy. Every single person on screen tonight is making a real difference. Mach ymroddiad ach arloesedd ach creadigrwydd chi yn arwain at lwyddiant mewn marchnad fyd eang, gystad leol iawn. Thank you all for sharing this evening with us and for recognising the achievements of so many people. We hope you celebrate your success long into the night and in this more virtual world, at least you don't have to worry about getting home. Ma wedi bod yn bleser cael eich cwmni chi diolch yn fawr iawn. Diolch yn fawr iawn. No sta. Party! Come on in! Gyfi metal? Dŵr. Dŵr. <laughs> Shots o' <are> dŵr. <laughs> yes! Oh! <laughs> 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 Thank you.
Oh. Yeah.